Hi, I am back with this paper. Neat. Our neat. Our neat. Grand test. One part two. One seventy six onwards. PP bond is present in PP means fast plus fast plus bond. You can see the structure here. I mentioned the structure here. It is of group fifteen. There is PP bond. Fast plus fast plus bond. You can notice here. So H four P two O six is the answer. Just see all the structures of fast plus oxy acids. XeF six and complete hydrolysis gives. This is complete hydrolysis product. If you want partial hydrolysis, XeF six can give you XeO two F two. Or XeOF4. These are partial hydrolysis products. Coming to this one, one seventy-eight. Na two HCl CuCN means after this first step, it becomes benzene diazonium chloride. Very important preparation. Don't forget this one. And this is cyanobenzene. Okay, now Gatterman reaction, Sandmeier reactions. You remember, right, right, right. And cyanide when treated with SnCl two, this is Stefan reduction. In Stefan reduction. It becomes CHO. So first must be cyanobenzene, second must be aldehyde. That comes, 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 comes from here, right? Cyanide and aldehyde. Very important conversion this is. And you see, here, uh, this is phenol. I'm just checking. Uh, bromine CS2. Bromine CS2 means one place you are going to get bromine carbon disulfide. Okay, if you are taking bromine water, all the all the three positions two, four, six, and this is CS two, so one place you can take here, and then CHCl three NaOH. This is Riemann-Tieman reaction, one very very popular reaction. I think you remember very clearly. This is CHO salicyl aldehyde. So let us see the products here. Identify A and B respectively in the above reaction. As we were discussing, this is question number one seventy nine. This one. Right, bromine at para position, and CH four Friedel Crafts reaction. Sorry, uh, Riemann Tieman reaction. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Riemann Tieman reaction. And in this one important point, you remember CCl two. CCl two is the intermediate dichlorocarbon. Very special. Coming to one eightieth question. In the structure of CO two CO eight, X is the number of CO CO bonds and Y is the number of CO CO terminal bonds and X plus Y. This is IIT JEE question. Twenty twenty two, okay. CO two CO eight is like this. One bond is and two are. This is NCRT structure. You can check this in NCRT book. It is there. D block elements and coordination chemistry. You can see this one. You can you can see the answer very easily. CO CO bonds one. And uh, X is number of CO CO bonds and Y is number of CO CO bonds. This is. Okay now, this should be CO. Okay, small CO. Sorry for this. So one, two, three. I'll change the pen color. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is one seven. So it should be seven. This is IIT JEE twenty twenty two question paper twenty twenty two twenty twenty two. The molecule which has minimum role in photochemical smog is memory based nitrogen. This is also JEE question. Turpentine oil can be purified by this process. Turpentine oil purified by steam distillation. This is again memory based question. No logic in that one. Statement one for the reaction towards SN two reaction of the following compounds is okay. This is given one statement. You see here bromine is there. This is normal bromine. The carbocation is going to be secondary carbocation. SN two means uh, SN one carbocation. SN two there is no carbocation shift. There is no carbocation formation only. So statement one and two, this is right because primary is more reactive in case of SN two, primary than secondary than tertiary. So this is primary. So statement one is correct, ma. Statement two, if you see, reaction towards SN two depends on steric hindrance of carbon atom containing halogen. Definitely. So both statements are correct. No much discussion about this required. Coming to one eighty four. Which of the alkali metal is having least melting point? Down the road, the melting point decreases. Cesium is actually liquid at room temperature. Bromine, 
mercury, gallium, francium, and cesium. You can take all these as liquids at room temperature. The order of bond order of C2 minus 2, N2 minus 2, O2 minus 2, this question you can expect maximum chances are there for this question. Number of electrons are going to be 14 electrons here, number of electrons are going to be 16 electrons, number of electrons are going to be 18 electrons. You can see all my past videos I made so many and J mains questions as you can see the bond order is 3, bond order is 2, bond order is 1. Okay. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This, these are the number of electrons. Bond orders start from 0, increase 0 0.5. Then 14 onwards, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Start from 3 and decrease 0 0.5. 2.5, 2, 1.5, 1, 0, 0.5, 0. Only one, ex one exception, 0 plus 13 electrons, but bond order is 3.5. This is pure exception. You can remember easily. Section B. Okay, now out of this, you need to answer only 10 out of 15 questions. Let's go with all this. Lactose is just reducing a sugar. This is due to memory based, completely memory based. You need to remember free anomaly carbon of beta D glucose, completely memory based. If chance is there, uh, skip these questions. A mixture of magnesium metal and magnesium oxide weighs 10 grams. On treatment with excess of dilute HCl, 2.24 liters of hydrogen is produced at STP. The percentage of magnesium is present. Very simple. You see magnesium plus HCl gives magnesium chloride plus H2. That means if you take 24 grams of magnesium, you are getting there 22.4 liters as it is one mole. But how much you got there better? 2.24 liters means it is 2.4 grams. 2.4 grams magnesium means magnesium oxide is 7.6 grams. Okay. So, the question is very, very, very simple. Out of 10, 7.6 in 100, it will be 76. Right. 188. Gold solution can be effectively coagulated by the following ions. Direct more charge, negative solid is so positive charge ions, Al plus 3. More charge, okay. Na. Potassium permanganate oxidizes oxalic acid to CO2 in acidic medium. The number of moles of KMnO4 equal to oxidize 0.5 moles of oxalic acid. The reaction will be like this: 2 KMnO4 plus 5 H2C2O4 plus sulfuric acid. Of course, in the presence of sulfuric acid, only the reaction takes place. Uh, K2SO4 plus 2 MnSO4 plus 10 CO2. If I am not wrong, it will be 8 H2O, 3 H2SO4. The number of moles of KMnO4 required to oxidize 0 0.5 moles. 2 moles for 5 moles. For 0 0.5 moles, it should be 0 0.2 moles. The answer is first option. Done. Bond dissociation enthalpy of hydrogen, chlorine and HCl. Okay. My dear friends, those who are watching this video, if you are related to your friends, if anyone is preparing for neat examination, try to forward them, try to send them this. It will be definitely helpful for them if they are able to answer these kind of questions at this moment. Bond dissociation enthalpy of H2, Cl2 and HCl respect to 104 and then the standard enthalpy of formation of HCl will be you see H2 plus Cl2 gives rise to 2 HCl. And um, bond dissociation enthalpy C as mentioned this is 104 and this is 58 this is 103. These two are dissociating, that's true, and this is forming, so its sign must be changed. And if you answer this question, the answer will come as 20.5. But remember, here you will be getting, uh, this is 104, this is 104, and, and almost this is close. Okay, you say 103 minus 104 plus 58, but whatever the value you are getting, okay, that will be around 41 you will be getting, that is for 2 moles. But formation is must be given for only one more. That's why this option is also there. So minus 41 by 2 is equal to minus 20.5. Okay. Heat of formation must be for only one more. Remember this point. Copper crystallizes uh, in FCC lattice with the edge length of 400 picometers. The unoccupied portion of the edge length in picometers is. So you can find out this by using the routine formula okay now 
the percentage calculation purpose you can use uh, what is the available space and all fcc rate is fcc rate is number of atoms effective number of atoms you can say effective number of atoms will be four edge length is given 400 picometers so volume of atom and total volume volume of atoms will be there are four atoms are there four into four by three pi r cube by total volume total volume is nothing but l cube or you say a cube by applying this one you can get the answer i will make a special video on this on this kind of questions there are so many videos in my solid state youtube videos you can check here it will be taking time okay now so if you answer this one 117 if any doubt is there please report me uh, then i will give you the right answer one faraday can deposit liberate one gram atom of metal at cathode during the electrolysis of okay now so of this is say he is asking for these one faraday can deposit or one gram atom one gram atom of metal okay one gram atom of metal means you can take ag and o3 ag gives during the electrolysis of here you see it also can give but this should not be aqueous if it is molten this will also become your answer okay but if it is aqueous okay now aqueous nacl gives you hydrogen not metal that's the interesting point of this one but silver aqueous is enough you will be getting silver and this copper it leads gives you copper but it requires two faraday's because copper plus charge plus two charges and zinc also it can also give you zinc but it also needs two faraday's interesting which of the following is most acidic most acidic is given by h2o c2h5oh c6h5oh is phenol phenol is more acidic because phenoxide ion is resonance stable resonance stable that's why it is better it is also acidic it is also acidic it is also slightly acidic but it is better 194 what is given here aqueous koh and no2 no2 is electron withdrawing group when electron withdrawing group is there to this ortho and para positions are better for uh, removal of chlorine group so this can't go this is only going okay so this is your answer this can't go only this is moving right interesting 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 coming to 195 last five six questions most stable carbocation among the following is see this is these two are worst okay worst and the worst and the chatta because triple bond carbon and double bond carbon cannot 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 okay now they are not comfortable with the plus touch this is okay because this is inductive okay now so this is the best answer correct answer this is the correct answer right coming to given below are two statements statement one ceo2 can be used as an oxidant in aqueous solution uh, statement two aqueous solution of eu so4 is a strong reducing agent if my suggestion if you want to go try to avoid these kind of questions because they are taken from that um, f block elements and all very tough to remember in the light of the above statements choose the correct answer from the options given below both statements correct generally both statements will be correct statements only will be given so they don't want to take risk and they generally give correct statements only number of pi bonds in marshall's acid is marshall's acid is yes o o s double bond o double bond o o h o h this is peroxide disulfuric acid pi bonds is asking this is also j mains question i think if i'm not wrong this is one this is two this is three this is four and your answer is fourth option compound x reacts with nh3 at 473 kelvin to give another compound y y x can be prepared by heating bf3 with sodium hydride the compound y is represented by the formula okay now so this question b3 and 3h6 borosol group 13 compounds compound x reacts with ammonia at 473 kelvin to give another compound y x can be prepared by heating bf3 with sodium borohydride the compound y is represented by the formula so this is 198th question coming to 199 so here you see this group is present oh and this is actually wrong way of presentation this cho must be top side 
okay now if you want to take this top side what you can do is um, hold this group as it is okay now I am holding this one so CHO went up CH2OH and OH down and again I want to keep this here only CHO always most oxidized form must be at the top so I am rotating like this H is coming here CH2OH is coming here OH is coming here now you see OH group is at right hand side okay now when this side group is there that is called a D form so that is D form now uh, this is the case OH CHOH CH2OH priorities will give this is the first priority one this is the second priority one this is the third priority one your I is traveling in anti-clockwise anti-clockwise means it should be S but least priority group is present here so this is R so right option is DR okay golden rule it is called if least priority group is on the horizontal line change it vertical line don't change which is conjugate dion conjugate dion clearly seen conjugate dion okay thank you very much guys we'll meet with another grand test i will try i will try to give you around 10 grand tests depending on my time and just support us by giving this to other required friends thank you all share subscribe and what generally people say like 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 okay if you like really then like it thank you